My name is Heather Waite and I am a Kaplan SAT instructor. Today I'm going to share with you some tips for what a good SAT score is and how you can get one. Simply put, a good score gets you into your school. It's all about you and the choices that you make. A good score can open doors for you in terms of college admissions and in terms of scholarship opportunities. So it really does make a lot of sense to put in the effort ahead of time. The median SAT score is around a 1080. So that's a good starting point, but it's important to know that a perfect score is not required for the SAT. So how do you know how to set a good score? Here's some tips for you. First tip, research your school. Every school has different requirements. So go to their admissions websites, see what their requirements are and set a realistic goal for yourself based on those requirements. Another tip, many schools in 2021 are going test optional. That doesn't mean, however, that they won't look at your score. And a good score can certainly help. There are very few colleges that are actually going test blind, meaning they don't look at your scores at all. So even if you hear that your school is test optional, it's not a bad idea to take an SAT, prepare for it, and really impress them with your skills. Our third tip, make a plan to practice. The SAT is like so many other skills that you've learned um, from playing guitar, playing baseball, riding a bicycle, learning a foreign language. The way to get better at any of those skills is to put in practice, put in the effort. So make a plan to practice. Even sessions as short as 30 minutes a day over the course of a couple months can have a big impact on your score. Start by taking a practice test to figure out where you are now, and then make a plan to help you get where you wanna be, which is gonna match up with your school's potential scores. Finally, remember why you're doing this in the first place. There will be days where you don't feel like putting in the work or putting in the effort. It's okay to take a break once or twice a week. Other than that, just show up and get it done. That dedication and that diligence will absolutely pay off in terms of your score on testing. So those are your tips for SAT success. Tag your fellow friends who are studying for the SAT and leave any questions for me in the comments below. You've got this. We'll see you soon.